what's the best way to introduce two Great Danes? Great Danes are known for their gentle and friendly nature. These majestic giants can make excellent companions, but introducing two Great Danes to each other can be a delicate process. It is important to ensure that the introduction is done in a controlled and positive manner to prevent any potential conflicts or aggressive behavior. In this article, we will discuss the best way to introduce two Great Danes and provide some useful tips to make the process smoother. 1. Prepare a neutral territory before bringing the new Great Dane home, it is essential to prepare a neutral territory where both dogs can meet for the first time. This could be a park or a friend's backyard, any place where neither dog has established dominance or territorial marking. By choosing a neutral location, you can minimize the chances of any territorial disputes arising. 2. Separate introduction To avoid overwhelming both dogs, it is recommended to introduce them separately before introducing them to each other. Allow them to sniff each other's scent by exchanging their blankets or toys. This will help them become familiar with each other's scent and establish a connection before meeting face to face. Gradual introductions can significantly reduce anxiety and stress during the first interaction. 3. Controlled on-leash meetings When it's time for the actual introduction, both dogs should be on a leash. It is essential to have control over their movements and be able to separate them quickly if any signs of aggression or tension arise. Allow the dogs to approach each other calmly and don't force them to interact if they are not comfortable. Positive reinforcement, such as treats or praise, can be used to reward calm behavior during the introduction. For observe body language during the meeting, closely observe the body language of both Great Danes. Signs of aggression may include growling, snarling, raised hackles, or stiff body posture. If any signs of aggression are displayed, quickly separate the dogs and try again later in a more controlled environment. It is important to prioritize the safety and well-being of both dogs. 5. Gradual integration After the initial introduction, it is crucial to gradually integrate the dogs into each other's lives. Start by short and supervised play sessions, gradually increasing the duration as they become more comfortable with each other. It is important to provide both dogs with individual attention and ensure that they do not feel neglected or threatened by the presence of another dog. 6. Maintain routines, Great Danes are creatures of habit, and any sudden changes in routines can cause stress or anxiety. To help them adjust to each other, maintain their daily routines, such as feeding times, walks, and playtime. Consistency will provide a sense of security and help them bond more easily. 7. Seek professional help if necessary If you are unsure about the introduction process or if there are any signs of aggression that you cannot manage, seeking professional help from a dog trainer or behaviorist is highly recommended. They can provide guidance and expertise tailored to your specific situation, ensuring a safe and successful introduction for both Great Danes. In conclusion, introducing two Great Danes requires careful planning and consideration. Starting with a neutral territory, gradually introducing their sense, and observing their body language during controlled meetings are crucial steps in the process. Maintaining routines and seeking professional help if needed can also contribute to a successful introduction. Remember, patience and positive reinforcement are key to fostering a harmonious relationship between these gentle giants.